I just put down my window shade, taking a peek out, and the sun is rising. Let's go outside and see what it looks like. Beautiful. Look, the solar lights are still working about 12 hours later. Of course, there's nobody up yet. I don't know, a couple people say they get up pretty early. So I'm walking, walking, so we can get a little closer to this beautiful, I don't know if I'm gonna capture it with the camera very well or not, but it's bright orange. And over there with her lights, This is a cool setup. She has a Kia Soul and puts a tarp on the back or a tent, I should say, with low lights. Such a pretty Imagine it's probably about, I don't know, maybe about 40 degrees right now. Beautiful. I love when you catch the, the glare on the vehicles of the sun. Look at the mountain line, how pretty that is. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at it's yellow here, but what I'm looking at is like bright orange. Ooh, look. Well, we're gonna go on a hike today. So, about I think it's um, Paula and Jolene and myself, so I hope you'll join us. Nothing like being in the desert for a sunrise or a sunset. Walking back now. Four more people showed up. So I think we have a group of about, I don't know, eight or nine. I've lost track. <laughs> and there's Happy Haven. And somebody way out in the distance there. Out with Jolene and Paula and Sherman today. Woo! I'm excited. I'm pulling up the the back end as they move along as professional hikers here. Say hi, Miss Paula. Hi. Paula's the professional. Say hi, Miss Jolene. But I do. Yeah. Jolene's channel is I'm out there, right? She's out there. She's out there somewhere. Yep. Sherman's, he's out there exploring. Look at him go. Look at him go. Linda with Serene and Simple Life, having the time of her life with new friends. And we're bumping along here. Someone gave me, or actually, uh, Paula's brother gave me this stick. So now I'm feeling like a pro. At least I got the gear to look like it, even if I don't. <laughs> but I like to hike. Look how beautiful this is. 
You know, I did a lot of hiking on my own, so this is such a treat because I don't really have to pay attention to where I'm going because Jolene has her GPS. She's got her point and her and our way back. And so I'm kind of learning a little bit about that. And goodness gracious, it's almost up to 70 today. And I mean, that's awesome. Yesterday it was windy and I don't know, it maybe didn't get up to about 55. So yay for weather that's one day hot, next day cold, you never know. What's that, Paula? We have a week of mid 60s now. Beautiful. Well, we're heading in the direction of Quartzsite. So we're paralleling the road from our caravan here up to Bow, and that road goes directly into Quartzsite. So this is just a gravel road of BLM land where we can camp. What, the other day we went out, we did a little over three miles, mm -hmm. and then you went out yesterday and did a almost three miles. miles. Yeah. Almost and I took degrees. a break yesterday. I was doing some reorganizing in Happy Haven. Future, future, future uh, show and tells. But this is just really beautiful, and oh my gosh, this is living life large when you're out here with no real agenda and with friends it doesn't get any better than this so okay so this is that that yeah, dangerous like plant. jumping choya that you really want to avoid because you'll see that it drops all over and even with my oh, hiking wow. stick see how it catches on there the oh wow end of my yes 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 stick. So this, it's actually hard to even get it out of there. I'd have to pull it out. But in some of these, you'll see over there, they're laying on the ground, these little pieces. And I would not want to fall in that because that would break off. But this is what the dogs will get on their feet if they get too close to it. You can see some up here. But it's all along the trail here. And, and then see, you have to pull it out of it's there. It's still on there on the rubber end of my hiking stick. Wow. Just a little bit more scenery for your viewing pleasure. And we just ran into somebody who lost their dog. They were in Quartzsite and the dog took off and believe it's somewhere in the wash area here. So we've been scouting out the area. There's someone on an ATV scouting out the area. I can't even imagine how scary for both the dog and the owners. So we're trying to do our due diligence here and hopefully we're going to get a blessing here real soon. Does he? Yep, he does. Very scary. Come on, Cole! Come on, Cole! Meepal! They said Come he goes on, by Meepal, Meepal. Go even though his name's Cole. That the uh, owner's been calling him Meepal since he, since they got him. What is it, Tony? There are traps here. Come on, boy! I think if I let him go, he can't him off. So we're just going to keep walking. We're kind of heading back to camp, but we're we feel like we're in a good direction of maybe being able to find him. So, and Sherman sees something. And Sherman might even be the be the catalyst to help us find Meatball. So I don't know if any of you've ever lost a dog in the desert and it turned out good. Sure hoping so. But can't even imagine. I know without my friends, I'd definitely be lost. They'd have to send out the helicopters right now for me. So with that, blessings in your day. Probably just running around, confused. 
We've got some dog tracks here. Yeah. Human tracks that, are too right here. That mm -hmm. um Paula just noticed. Joy in your journey. Beautiful day.